Hey guys, welcome back to Grind Don't Sleep. Today we'll talk about what is the best food delivery service and why. Let's head into it. Best for consistency, DoorDash. Recently ranked the most popular food delivery app, DoorDash has 310,000 restaurants located in 4,000 cities worldwide, 80% of which are in the US. According to the company, the app's interface is a bit busy, but helpful. A menu of icons at the top of the screen lets you search by type of food or by rating level, price level, delivery in under 30 minutes, or vegetarian options. As you scroll, you'll see restaurants named featured national partners, those that offer no delivery fee for your first order, local favorites, the fastest options available near you, DoorDash deals, and those that are outside your neighborhood that you might want to try. You can also search for a specific restaurant. When you tap on a restaurant, you'll see its ratings, delivery costs, estimated time, and distance from you. Menus are easy to navigate and split up by popular items, followed by your usual appetizers, mains, desserts, and so on. Or you can switch to a full menu view, tap on individual items to customize them, and add them to your order. We ordered from DoorDash on a Monday night. My expected delivery window was 28 to 38 minutes, and the food arrived in 36 minutes. Everything was pretty warm, which was impressive considering that the restaurant was a solid 15 minute drive away. We spent $27 on two entrees, and we were charged $2 in tax, a $3 delivery fee, and $3 service fee. We also got a $5 discount. All total, that made up for only $3 in fees, plus a tip for the driver. We also got a 25% off coupon that was good for another week. If you're a frequent user, you can sign up for DoorDash's subscription service. Dash pass. For $10 a month, you get free delivery and lowered service fees from thousands of restaurants nationwide. If you don't want to subscribe, you can still turn on notifications to see nearby promotions. Best for fast delivery, Uber Eats. If you already use Uber for your rideshare needs, you're in luck. Last year, the company began merging its rideshare platform and Uber Eats food delivery service into the same app. This has only rolled out in certain cities, so for now, you may still need to download the separate Uber Eats app. Uber Eats has more than 320,000 restaurant partners in more than 500 cities globally. Its average delivery time is under 30 minutes, according to the company. The app sorts restaurant choices based on your previous orders, but you can also sort by most popular, highest rating, price range, delivery time, delivery fee, and dietary needs. If you scroll down the front page, you'll see special offers along with categories like popular near you and national brands. Similar to Uber's ride hailing app, you can track where your driver is in real time. A nice feature when you just need to know when you'll be able to eat. We ordered two entrees and an appetizer from a local Italian restaurant for a total of $26. I was charged a $4 service fee, a $5 delivery fee, and $2 in taxes. An extra $11 on top of my meal, plus a tip for the driver. At first, I experienced a strange issue, wherein my order seemed to cancel itself, but it could have been my spotty internet connection. I ordered again and it went through normally. Even though it was a busy Saturday night, my order arrived within 30 minutes, faster than any other app I tried. However, at least when I ordered, Uber Eats seemed to have more fast food and local options available. From what I can tell, Uber Eats doesn't send email promotions. It's nice not to have my inbox bombarded, but at the same time, I might be more likely to open an app if I know there's a deal happening. You can join Uber Rewards to earn points, which lets you earn points across the food and ride-hailing platform that can add up to free delivery. Best for delivery deals, Postmates. Postmates now operates in more than 4,200 US cities and has more than 500,000 restaurants available for delivery or pickup. The app has a good variety of options and a clean, simple interface. You can sort by recommended, fastest, popular, or type of cuisine. Postmates charges a delivery fee between $1 to $10, plus a variable percentage-based service fee during busy times. Thankfully, the app offers great deals, typically via email, to help offset those extra costs. Or you can join a party, an order from a place, other other people in your area are ordering from at the moment to get free delivery. Another perk is that the driver can send you a text to keep you posted on their location and any issues. They can also make orders from drugstores like CVS and Walgreens. Unlike some of the other apps, Postmates also offers 24-7 service, so as long as the restaurant or store you're ordering from is still open. From a more upscale local restaurant, delivery time was estimated to take 40 minutes, but it ended up being 50 minutes. However, the food was still warm. We ordered two entrees for $37 and were charged $8 in tax and fees and $4 for delivery. We received a $2 discount, so altogether, we paid an extra $10 in fees, plus the tip for the driver. Like DoorDash, Postmates also has a subscription option for frequent orderers. Postmates Unlimited costs $10 a month or $100 annually and gives you free delivery on all orders over $15. 
along with other perks like no increased pricing during busy hours. What do you think about these? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.